We recently looked at the great diversity of insect predators and parasitoids in the landscape. We can attract these beneficial insects to our gardens by offering the basic resources of life, food, water, and shelter. The same is true for larger vertebrate predators, including birds and bats, reptiles and amphibians. All of these creatures need a little bit of protection, and that's particularly true as we go into the winter months. A lot of them will go into dormancy and need a sheltered place to spend the winter. And the grasses and the perennials in our garden are a great resource for shelter. A lot of people like to cut these down to clean up the garden in the fall, but that's removing a source of protection for these insects and also a lot of reptiles and amphibians. They'll hide out under that dense foliage, which is very insulating. So leaving your grasses and your perennials in place and waiting until spring to cut them down will provide a very beneficial habitat. Now we can also think of providing habitat for birds and bats in the form of nesting boxes. Wooden boxes in the landscape encourage these birds and also the bats to be active where we want them to go to work. Now not all birds feed on insects, so when you're selecting bird houses, consider the species. Certain birds are very good at eating insects in the landscape. These include the eastern bluebird, as well as downy woodpeckers and purple martins. So think about those when you're selecting your birdhouses. During the growing season, we also want to provide some shelter for night active insects. A lot of ground beetles and, and other insects like to hide out under rocks or logs or even a thick layer of mulch during the day. And then at night, they come out and feed on insects. Now, water is also a valuable resource. Even a simple, small dish of water provides a place for insects and animals to take a drink. A larger water source like this will invite a whole new host of insects and animals into the garden. A lot of aquatic insects like dragonflies and damselflies are predatory. And also when you add water, you invite amphibians like frogs, which also feed on insects. One last thing as we're planting our gardens during the winter months is to think about flowers. Right now we don't have a whole lot blooming, but nectar is very important to the predators. And that sounds a little bit contrary because we're inviting them in to feed on insects. They get their protein from those insects, but they also need carbohydrates and such as sugars, which they get from nectar and pollen. So a lot of our insect natural enemies need a source of pollen throughout the season. So provide lots of flowers and pay attention to when they bloom, provide something in bloom throughout the season. Pay close attention to the nectaries. A lot of these insects need small nectaries, such as we find in the composite or aster family. Well, providing these basic resources, food, water, and shelter, can invite a whole host of activity into your garden. You'll find that natural control through predation will reduce many of our common pest problems.